Hi everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So, welcome back to my channel. I am your friend Ashima. Today I'm going to be telling you about M&A tax. What we do here and how the things go on in this particular domain. So, if you are deciding to get into M&A tax, keep on watching. In M&A tax, we work on the due diligence and taxation perspective altogether. It depends whether you are assisting the buy side client or a sell side client. So based on that, we prepare a PPT and pitch the client regarding income tax companies at SEBI and other legal and regulatory implications. Hello. Hello. Uh, so when we pitch it to the client the client keeps asking us to put in multiple scenarios and it uh, generally becomes a large deck a large ppt because whenever you pitch it the client will ask some questions and tell you more about what they are thinking so you will put all the possible alternatives in further slides we also identify and evaluate the potential targets uh, potential acquisition targets or any other a uh, company which might be interested into selling or buying a particular entity or a business unit we do uh, a thing called bd it is business development so uh, we would look at the financial statements of a particular company uh, we would identify if there is any scope of uh, merger or acquisition by any other leading company if th- it is a loss making entity or not what are the promoter structures whether deemed dividend could be there could be a risk of deemed dividend which is section 222e of the income tax act and uh, we try to simplify the structure if it is too complicated if there are multiple entities if any of the entities could be merged together or if there is multiple business going on in one entity then it could be demerged or whether a slump sale could also be done of a particular business undertaking also for people who are following me on linkedin let me tell you guys that this vlog is from february when i was working with pwc still now i have resigned from pwc and a video about my resignation and the reason for my shifting will be coming up soon so please subscribe if you are interested in such kind of a content I am also listing out other things for which we provide assistance to the companies. Here are some cons of working in big four that you have to work late and your meetings would be never ending.